Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Scarlet. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> Can you believe this baby's a year old? We just love her. I thought it might be a good time to do a year in review video on Scarlet. She was born Valentine's Day 2020. And we got her from Creekside Golden Doodle. They are located uh, west of Branson, Missouri, and a really nice um, family to work with. Gary and Bonnie over there at Creekside Golden Doodle were just great. They sent me weekly pictures of her and they kept me informed as far as what was going on with her and everything like that. Um, I picked her out at three weeks old. In fact, I, our first video that we did is of that, and I'll leave a link in the description below. But at three weeks old, we picked her out, and she was one of only two girls. So it was not that hard of a choice, really. 50-50. But anyway, I chose her um, because she had a little black nose and what looked like a less tightly curled hair. So um, I was hoping that I wouldn't have quite the maintenance with her. So anyway, um, it turns out that that's been very true. Her coat is wavy. It's very easy to maintain. Probably the hardest part maybe is her ears because she has an undercoat on her ears. Um, retrievers have that and it's a real light fluffy kind of a hair that if I don't keep her ears brushed then they will get mats. But otherwise she's been super easy to maintain. She doesn't like her feet messed with. Um, she doesn't like her nails clipped and that sort of thing. Uh, but otherwise it's not been too bad. Anyway, so at three weeks old we went and picked her out. And I brought her home at eight weeks old. And one thing about Scarlett that, you know, just kind of an FYI, if you're getting a puppy and you have a long drive, which ours was two and a half hours, she got car sick. And uh, she's gotten much better as she's gotten older. I think it's kind of common for puppies. I don't know if it's their inner ear or what, but um, it's not that uncommon for puppies to get car sick. And, and oftentimes they do outgrow it. <laughs> but anyway, she threw up three times on the way home, but she's a lot better now, aren't you? Yes, you are. Anyway, Scarlett's an F1B Golden Doodle. Her dad is a poodle named Rocky. And her mom is a Golden Doodle named Maggie. So she's, I guess you could say, about three-quarter poodle. So that's one of the reasons I was a little bit concerned about her coat, and I was hoping I would get one that was not quite so difficult to take care of. I do all her grooming, which I'm not very good at it, but you know, oh well. I don't care. I love her anyway. Anyway, so when I brought her home, first thing we started doing was working on basic commands. And boy, did she pick them up really quickly. I mean, she was sitting for me within about 24 to 48 hours. She could do the sit command. And stay, and she was learning come. So I've got a few of those videos if you want to check those out. Um, and then we started working on crate training. I had no problems with her at night. She cried the first night, and I don't think she cried at all after that and slept through the night from night two on. So she's been super easy as far as that goes. Now this crate here, it's not like she loves it. She doesn't hang out in it or sleep in it during the day or anything like that, but I have no problem getting her to go in it. and. I've created her for up to maybe five, five and a half hours before with no problems. I use the snuggle puppy and she does like that. And I do have a video on that as well. So be sure and check out our playlist. Scarlett's personality is playful and happy. Uh, she's a snuggler. You know, I, I really noticed uh, kind of a difference in her as she got maybe five, six months old as far as settling down some. Not that she's not energetic and playful, but um, she wasn't so wild and crazy in the mornings. And now, 
you know, I can have, I can spend a couple hours in the morning drinking coffee, watching the news, whatever it is I want to do. And she's just right there with me and happy to snuggle and cuddle and, and it's really nice. And then we'll go out and we'll mill around and go see the goats and she'll run through the yard. Her favorite thing to do is run and play keep away. And if you followed along on our channel, you know that I did get a training collar for her. And I only use that if I know someone's coming over and I want to make sure that she doesn't jump all over them. But otherwise, I just use it when we go outside. She gets so excited when I get it out because she knows that she's going to get to be off leash and run freely. And boy, does she take advantage of it. She just runs everywhere. We go traipsing through the woods and, and just have a great time. She's hot blooded and she loves the winter. It's super cold here too. Um, the wind chill is below zero and this coming week we're supposed to get up to eight inches of snow and more ice with maybe 10 to 20 mile an hour wind chills. So this is really unusual for southern Missouri. We're just less than five miles to Arkansas. So we're we're not used to this cold for this length of time especially. So anyway, but <laughs> doesn't bother her. She loves it. So I bundle up and um, put my coveralls on and we go traipsing through the woods and she has a great time. Scarlett did really great on potty training too. I bet I could count on one hand the number of accidents that she had in the house. And half the time that was my fault because I just wasn't paying close enough attention to her or I waited too long. Um, but she was completely potty trained by 16 weeks and has not had any problems at all since then. So we've been really lucky with that. So if you're thinking about getting a golden doodle, I highly recommend it. I, I love the breed. They're smart, they're fun. She's hilarious. I mean, literally, we bust out laughing at her all the time. She's so loving. Um, she just is a great, great companion. I'd say the very best thing about having Scarlett in our lives is just the joy that she brings us. And she just makes us laugh all the time. And if I had to pick out maybe the hardest thing about having a golden doodle, it would probably be the grooming. Um, even though she has an easy coat, I do it myself and, you know, this year I'll be 64 years old. And sometimes she can be a handful. She's about 50 pounds. So it's, it's hard. And I'm not set up for grooming, even though I have a grooming table, I'm not set up for grooming like a groomer would be with the nice, big, deep um, dog bathtub and that sort of thing. I just put her in our tub and, and then there's water everywhere and <laughs> it's a mess. We both get soaked. But anyway, she's definitely well worth it. So if you're thinking about a golden doodle, maybe that's the dog for you. <laughs> I'd say go for it, huh? Go for it, because they're a wonderful dog. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Be sure and hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, we'll catch you later.